that was a freaking lifesaver let me tell you this for me is seriously affecting me i'm gonna try something different Hello you guys, good morning. So it is currently 11 o'clock. I guess it's kind of afternoon-ish, but me and Madison are currently headed quite a ways away. We have to drive an hour away. Well, technically I don't have to be here, but she's going to get a COVID test for the movie industry because she does it as well. And this is her first gig that she's gotten. And so since it's like a far drive, I wanted to go with her because when I had to go, I was honestly really stressed out and I took Joel with me the first few times because honestly, sometimes finding like the set and just finding everything in general can be stressful. So I'm going with her and then today is voting day in Canada. So on our way back, we're gonna vote and we're gonna get Starbucks. She's just filling up on gas because it's a long ass drive. And then I really wanna stop at like Shoppers or London Drugs to get some Midol because let me know if any of you guys have experience with Midol, but I've tried Advil, Tylenol, I've tried doctor prescribed pain medication and none of it seems to work for my period cramps, but Matt Madison's friend, Crystal, she was over a few weeks ago and she mentioned that Midol is the only thing that works for her, the extra strength kind, and apparently you only take like two tablets in the morning or at the beginning of the day and it'll last throughout the whole day. So that's like my last strand of hope right now. So I'm gonna go pick that up because my period is supposed to come tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, it's supposed to come tomorrow and you all know how that ends up working out. So I just really hope that it doesn't come today because I'm out doing stuff. So if it comes today, that's absolutely gonna screw me over. But Honestly, if it comes tomorrow, it's not going to be like the worst thing ever. I have an appointment in the morning, so as long as it comes after that, I'm fine. But anyways, yeah, so I'm going to try the Midol, and I pray to heavens above that the Midol works. If Midol doesn't work, then I don't know what else to try, uh, because even doctor-prescribed pain medication did not work. So I hope this is stronger. I'm at the point where I'm about to mix all the medications together and just take as much as I can. But I have like an ultrasound appointment coming up soon in like a few weeks. So hopefully they can really figure out what's wrong with me. But anyways, we're going to start now. So I'm gonna try something different. You will see. Okay, so I got the pumpkin cream cold brew and this is the first time that I've ever gotten this in my whole entire life And the reason why is because obviously the cream is dairy and that's why I've always like hesitated to try it But I was like people rave about this and I was like I have to try it at why least Why are you wearing sunglasses? Because I don't shit and people literally rave about this. So I was like, even though I try and stay away from dairy, I have to try this. Like this is a treat for me because I just can't go on with my life any longer because it's seasonal. So yeah, just a grande pumpkin spice cream cold brew. It's very popular. If you you're wondering, probably already tried it. I got an ice cream tea with guava juice. It's good. Cheers. Let's taste this. It's so interesting how they spell my name every time because there's so many different ways to spell Michaela. M-I-K-A. Look at look at that. That's I've never gotten this one before. Yeah, LA. Okay. Anyways, here we go. Oh wow. Mm. Is that good? That's really good. And I've like grown to appreciate cold brew a lot more. I used to not really like it, but I've grown to like it a lot. And so this is really freaking good. I mean, this isn't something I'm gonna get like every time I come, just because obviously, like I was saying, the dairy, a good amount of dairy, but it's good for the moment right now. I mean, that's really good. And I also got the Southwest Bean Wrap. So I got the Southwest Quinoa Bean Wrap and this shit is so good if you get it like warmed up. It's like kind of on the side there and you gotta like pick the wraps and then like bring it to the counter. And I think that they might have said that they were discontinuing this one, but only at some locations though, because I'll go to some locations, they don't have the wraps, but at the one near my house, they do have the wraps, which is great. So I know to go there if I ever want to get like a wrap. But anyways, Southwest Bean Wrap, so good. It's vegetarian, so there's no meat in it. And I think the only like non-vegan is like the sauce might be like kind of like a mayo or whatever, but it's so good. And the bread, I don't know what type of bread that they use for this, but it's just so freaking good. But make sure you get it warmed up. The flat bread. So good.
Okay, so I just got booked for background acting tomorrow and the next day and I need to find this mitle. And it doesn't look like they have it here so I might have to go out again later today and go to like Walmart or something because I'm actually like scared for myself. Like this mitle doesn't work. I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I'm actually really stressed out about this. Okay, my hair is kind of blowing in the wind right now because I have air conditioning going. It's like so hot for some reason. Anyway, so we went to Soccer Express. I didn't vlog in there because that would just be a little bit weird. Um, but I got some new soccer cleats, which I'm really excited about. They're just Nikes. They're really comfortable. They fit really well. And um, yeah, so I'm excited because my other ones are kind of like ripping. And I prefer Nike cleats just because the way that they fit is so much nicer. So I'm excited to break those in. And secured the mitle goods i got two i got a pms one and then i got a, a menstruation one and they're both extra strength so i'm gonna take this pms one leading up to my period and then once i get my period i'm gonna try the menstrual one and just take that when i get it i literally pray that these drugs work because like i said i just got booked for Wednesday so that's just, it's Monday so I'm literally I have a casting call for Wednesday and as you know my period is so bad that like it inhibits my life like the day of my period like I can't do anything so I'm really hoping that these drugs will work also I just voted I don't know if I said that Madison is just coming in the car now because we just finished um, and I hope that you guys if you live in Canada you voted as well if you're of age because you know what our voice matters and Every vote counts. But yeah, we just voted. And now we're on the way home. I will update you guys on how the mitle works for my sake. I really hope it does. I feel like everybody's body is different, so like different things are going to work for different people. But I'm just very mad about literal i waited in the emergency room for six hours and i got drugs that didn't don't even work for me so it just kind of sucks so i'm really counting on you i'm counting on this you guys if i get period cramps like when i'm there i don't know what i'm going to do like i'm gonna have to go home so or just like literally hide out in the toilet so that's how my life is going but you know we're gonna manifest good things i'm just gonna tell myself that my period cramps don't exist and they're not gonna happen this month Hey guys, it is such a random time to be filming right now. Literally 11.30 at night time p.m. So basically, I was literally just like about to go to bed and I had this sudden impulse, impulse to make overnight oats because I know that if I didn't make them tonight, I was gonna regret it in the morning because it's such an easy breakfast and it's like nothing to clean up. It's time efficient and I'm just gonna eat it and go, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna do randomly and I thought that I would just vlog it because if this recipe turns out good, I'm gonna try like a cocoa overnight oats. My mom used to make them for us going to school in the morning and it used to be my favorite thing ever like it was heaven in my mouth to me so she doesn't know the exact recipe that she used back in the day so she's just like just look one up online so that's what i did and so we're gonna be making them and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be splitting them in like jars i'm just gonna do like a montage of me making this right now i will have the recipe linked down below for you guys but i'll try it out for you tomorrow morning i'm sure it's gonna be good i mean i can't see how this is gonna be bad Okay, so this is how it looks and basically instead of cooking it the oats like absorb the liquid overnight And then in the morning, they're basically like quote-unquote cooked like the liquid is soaked up So they're cooked consistency, you know what I mean? So that's them. They look really chocolatey and yummy And I mean unless you're trying to stay away from like chocolate cocoa powder or whatever then they're pretty healthy to me I mean obviously it's healthier to eat them just like completely plain but for like a sweet delicious breakfast pretty healthy. I don't know if I made enough for all of us. Um, I really hope so. Oh shit. This is gonna be a disaster. Okay, I definitely didn't make enough shit. Okay, so I evidently didn't make enough. It literally just filled these two. It looked like so much in the moment. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm just going to quickly make another batch because it really didn't take me that long. We're like kind of have energy right now. I'm not even joking you, like it's a full moon tonight, but around the times of full moons, I swear I literally like, I'm not normal, if that even makes sense. Like I always, like no mean to brag, but I always can sleep a full night. Like the only reason I would ever wake up in the middle of the night is to go pee, and that only usually happens to me like once a week, maybe not even. I usually get such an amazing sleep, and I can just sleep through like the whole night, if that makes sense. Like I never really just wake up, but 
it has been like a full moon recently i think like i think today's like the full full moon but it's been like leading up to it and i'm not even joking you like i have just been waking up in the middle of the night and like so many times not being able to sleep but i feel off i feel weirdly tired sometimes like this full moon is seriously affecting me and like you can believe it if you want to but not believe but i believe like i've noticed this weird ass change and i've just been feeling really off and i think it's a full moon and i didn't i was saying this before i even knew that it was a full moon and i just discovered this like i don't know i saw it in like a video or something someone was saying it was like a full moon and they were feeling off too so i was like oh what so then i go look and i'm like holy shit like the full moon is tonight tonight so i have some weird ass energy right now um but it's it's definitely affecting me and I remember like when I used to work at a restaurant, there was one night where I was acting so weird and like everything was so weird. And I'm like, oh my God, that would be so funny if it was like a full moon tonight. And I had no idea it actually was, like I swear to God, no prior evidence no prior knowledge that it was and then we're, we're just like joking about it and then i look it up and it was literally a full moon that night i was like this can't get any weirder so let me know if you guys like got affected by it i feel like not everyone would but i just feel so connected to the universe nowadays that i feel like it affects me even more because of that so i don't know let me know if you guys have been feeling weird by the time this video is posted this has probably already like been done like this is the next week so let me know if you guys felt weird like last week if that makes sense or if you've ever felt weird from a full moon let me know your story down below because it's i find that stuff so intriguing and cool okay here are the finished jars obviously this would be a lot easier to make if you were just making like one small batch for yourself but i was making like a whole vat so it was like more dishes but it took me 20 minutes so it's not even that bad anyways so i'm just gonna put these in the fridge So yeah, you literally just let them sit in there over overnight and then they will be ready in the morning. So I'll see you guys in the morning and let you guys know how they are. Good night. <laughs> Hey you guys, long time no talk. So it's been like a couple days since I last vlogged, picked up the camera, and I just forgot to update you guys on like everything because I was filming like another vlog. So it's kind of intertwining. And then I forgot to update you on that on this vlog. Anyways, I have some updates. Overnight oats were delicious. I'm gonna link the recipe down below. And next is the period cramp medication because I know if you guys have period cramps, you probably want an update. Okay, what I ended up using was this. And this is called Maxidol. And I forgot if I explained this but i went back out to the store to get this one because this is a higher dose so you literally only take one of these capsules and it lasts for 8 to 12 hours and you guys that was a freaking lifesaver let me tell you so usually my pain is like absolutely unbearable after taking that i didn't even usually get like symptoms like right away i didn't feel anything for a long time and then hours had passed and i started getting a tiny bit of cramps but it was bearable i mean it was still cramps but it was so much more bearable they only lasted for like 10 15 minutes and i was pain free like i'm not even kidding you i also did this yoga not a yoga it was like this stretching video for your period so that might have helped as well i will link that video if i can find it again down below if you guys want to check that out to do on your period um it helps with like opening up something down there so that like it can ease the cramps so I did that video and I took the Maxidol. And honestly, you guys, those were the pay best painkillers I've ever tried in my whole entire life. Like they actually worked. No other painkillers actually work for me and that actually work. If you guys have horrible periods, I would 100% suggest to try that. I kind of had to ask for it behind the counter. I was checking like the Advil section and the usual painkiller section and it wasn't there. So I asked and they like brought me to this aisle. It was in a really weird place. It was like almost like in the beauty care place, which is kind of weird, I guess, because it's like directed towards period cramps, but I don't know. Ask because it might not be in the regular section if you want to get it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and just remember that you can do anything you set your mind to you just gotta believe in yourself i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out